Welcome to my quick look of the Sweater OK. It's a simple enough game. You use the arrow keys to move your little green thing around and there are stars that appear or various symbols that appear. If one of the, their buttons hits a star then it sprouts another trailing button. and it grows more buttons as time goes on if you hit a star then you get points and it's basically dodge the buttons until such time as you lose which won't take me that long I, I doubt oh that's not going to be good I decided to go the same way I wanted to go and that's the general principle of the game. Now, oh, yes, they, I hit a little clock, so I speeded, I sped up, and it didn't. So, as you can see on the left, my best score I think is something like I said, eight thousand four hundred and something. And now I'm in trouble because I'm going to get caught from both sides. So, that's the general principle of the game. Now, I can either click replay or menu here. Now, the things I don't like about this game is it only appears to have one level. At least that's all I've seen. It's only got the one game. Yes, the pattern changes slightly, but there's no variety. So, I just the randomness of you know, where the buttons go and what stuff appears but I was looking for a paint type game and the hope that it would act like that where it it varied what you did in each each level you completed a level and the action you need to take varied between that one and the next level which was fun the fact that this one is essentially the same no matter which level you're on is it's okay I mean it's a funny enough little game as is but there's just not enough variety for my liking still it's fun it's a bit slow in its yeah, how it how the actions take place and things like that but depends I guess what you're looking for in a game oh I don't want to go that way now, as you can see, there's more and more, the buttons are getting longer and longer trails as they're hitting more and more things. And that's going to cause me a little bit of a problem getting out of this corner. Because I'm running out of directions to move in. And I'm not, no, I didn't get there in time. Now, I don't know who Laurie Capewell is. But that seems like a pretty interesting score, shall we say. And that's pretty much all there is to this game. I would like some more variety. And do I have sound turned off? Oh, I did have sound turned off. That's what the sound sounds like. So if you want sound, you can have sound too. Overly impressed by the sound, I must admit. Ah. Ah. Ah, nice little town sound when you hit hit a star. He's going that way. I'll go this way. But you, I'm not sure if that's a score in total when you finish him. If it's, an, if it's a what do you call it? If it's a cumulative score, or if it's the best score I managed to get on one game. That I do not know because I don't really pay attention to the score when I'm playing this. It's it's a little time waster. And I must admit the music slash sound in my ear is becoming a bit annoying. So I'm going to finish this now. And I'll find out the cumulative score by doing that. No, apparently not. Anyway, let me get back.
back to the menu so I can turn the sound off. And that's about all there is to this game. Like I say, it's pretty enough. It does what it says on the tin. It's you know, it's the same same thing over and over. And it's fun enough, but it's there's not enough here to keep me interested for a long period of time. I mean, the previous quick look I did was uh, was it Bad Sector HDD edition, and that I could play for hours. This I can play for ten minutes, and then I'll put it down, and maybe you know, a week later I'll pick it up for ten minutes and put it down again. That's the difference between them. Bad Sector I could play for hours. This I can play for short periods of time, occasionally. And they both cost 99 cents, or they did, did at the time when I bought them. They, you can get them on sale or get a, get them marked down one way or another. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about Sweater OK. It's an OK game, but certainly not one that's addictive enough to me. But as always, I hope you found this vaguely informative or enjoyable to one degree or another. Hopefully I will see you down the road.